Nowadays, fire detecting and alerting systems are very common on banks, offices, homes, etc. They usually detect fire and alert the people with siren. But what happens when nobody is there to listen to alarm? Like when nobody is at home or office. So, to inform the authority about the fire incident and to automatically extinguish the fire, we have made this project. This project can be further modified to notify the fire control department automatically. This IoT based project detects the nearby flame using a flame sensor, then node MCU triggers the relay to extinguish the fire automatically. It also informs the authority using Blink IoT application. So, without doing any delay, let's get started with the tutorial. The components required for this project are Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi development board, or relay module, infrared flame sensor, or LED, 12 volt DC fan, few jumper wires, and breadboard. Now let's start assembling the components for this project. The link of the circuit diagram will be provided in the description as well. First of all, connect the B in pin of node MCU to the positive rail on the breadboard. Then connect the GND pin to the negative rail on the breadboard. To interface frame sensor, connect the BCC and GND to the respective pin on the breadboard. Now connect the DO pin that is signal pin of the flame sensor to the D1 pin of node MCU. Connect the negative terminal of LED to the GND pin and positive pin to the D2 pin of node MCU. Similarly, interface a single channel relay GND and BCC pin to the GND and BCC. Then input pin to the node MCU D4 pin. Now connect the 12 volt DC fan positive terminal to the normally open NO pin. Then connect the positive terminal of the 12 volt adapter to the common pin of the relay. And finally, negative terminal of the DC fan to the 12 volt adapter that is, negative terminal of a 12 volt adapter. Here relay works as a switch. So we have successfully assembled the circuit. Now let's configure the Blink IoT application for this project. Make sure you have downloaded the Blink app from the Play Store for Android and from App Store for iPhone users and sign up with your Gmail account. First of all open up the Blink application. Click on the create new project, click on the create new project and enter the project name as IoT Fire Control. But you can type any name. Click on the choice tool to select the node MCU. Make sure the connection type is set to Wi-Fi. Click on the create button, a verification token will be sent to your email ID. We will need it later on programming part. Now click anywhere in the screen and search for the notification widget. Now our Blink app configuration part is completed and ready to use. Now let's dive into the programming part. The program code for this project is simple. First of all, I have defined a few integer variables and their respective GPIO pins. Flame detected variable is defined to read the value from the flame sensor. Then I have added a library header file required for this project. You need to replace the following Blink authentication token like Wi-Fi SSID and password with your own. The custom function notify on fire is created to read data, execute the commands and trigger the relay and notify the user through Blink IoT platform. Your flame detected read the data from the flame sensor and prints its value in the serial monitor. If its value is equal to zero, then some information is printed on serial monitor, for example, flame detected, take action immediately. At the same time, it also triggers a notification on the Blink application. A red LED is turned on as an indication and relay is turned on, which run a fan at a very high speed so that it helps to 
extinguish the fire. In else part, it simply prints no fire detected, stay cool, and the LED and relay remains off. On a setup part, I have initiated serial monitor, blink authentication, and defined a pin mode function for relay, LED, and flame sensor. And then timer interval is also defined. On the loop part, two functions blink.run and timer.run are executed on every loop. Now go to your tools menu, select the node MCU board and its COM port and upload the code. After a successful upload, open your serial monitor at the baud rate of 11.5200 to see the result. Now here is some demo. So that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, do subscribe to this channel for more amazing and cool projects. See you soon, thank you.